My name is Jack. I live here in Frederick. Most of my career, I was in the housing industry. I had a hobby building cabinetry and furniture and loved the golf. I got an athletic watch and it tracks various activities of yours. And my daughter asked me how I liked it after a couple of weeks. I told her I like it, but I think I'm missing an adjustment on the heart because it's 25 points a minute faster than I know my heart is. Well, we immediately went to our cardiologist, you know, to see what was going on. And that's when he was diagnosed with AFib. So that's what started us into the world of AFib, which we've been in for like three years, seeking answers. Atrial fibrillation is actually the most common heart rhythm condition that's abnormal that we see in human adults. And we're recognizing that it's really a phenomenon most associated with human aging. So the older we are, the more likely we are to get it. Simple analogy that I sometimes use with my patients. I ask them to picture atrial fibrillation being a disruption of your lawn with dandelions. When your rhythm is normal, it's like having a beautiful, clean, green lawn. And the way atrial fibrillation starts is much like dandelions or weeds start. There's one here, another one there, intermittent, occasional, maybe short-lived, and they'll shrivel up on their own. And then over time, there'll be more and more. They're harder and harder to treat. And if you don't do anything at all about the dandelions at all, what will happen? Ultimately, they'll take over, and there won't be any green grass left. The analogy means no more normal rhythm left, just the abnormal atrial fibrillation. The previous electrophysiologist had said that AFib was something that you could learn to live with. We discovered through research that persistent AFib can cause significant damage to the heart. For a long time, patients have been kind of relegated to anticoagulation rate control, which is not a terrible strategy, but I think that it's, it's helpful to know that there are options, um, in, in particular for patients who are symptomatic, who you know, the AFib is life limiting. We know, simply put, that long-standing atrial fibrillation is not good for you. And even if you don't feel it, it can be a silent problem that is brewing and causing things to get worse in the heart. So we want to make every reasonable effort to restore normal rhythm in those patients. When this hybrid ablation was introduced to us, we were very excited about it. And once we met Dr. Eldada and he explained it to us, it was obvious that's what we had to do. So at the time, Jack was 79 years old and was experiencing fatigue from his atrial fibrillation. He had had you know, several rounds of uh, different medications. He'd had an atrial flutter ablation and then subsequent to that had an atrial fibrillation ablation and had unfortunately recurred. So he was eager to get his AFib controlled and be back in normal sinus rhythm. So he had a terrific procedure, thankfully. He came in for part one of the procedure here at Washington Hospital Center. He underwent the surgical portion by Dr. Schultz. And then about a month or so later, he came in for the second part of the procedure after having gone home and recovered and going back to his life. He came in for part two, and we did the what we call endocardial procedure or within the heart procedure with a catheter. That's the ablation of the inside of the heart and then discharge. And he did well, thankfully, with both and I was able to see him in clinic and follow up about a month later and was thrilled to hear his first words being, I've felt better now than I have in 20 years. I'm on a golf course and I'm tearing it up. The whole process took three months, had absolutely no pain associated with it. Recovery was really quick and I feel 20 years younger. I have more energy. I don't get tired. I walk the dog up the road that doesn't tire me out. So I feel a lot younger. I walk pretty fast anyway, but I mean, he could not keep up. And, and you know, now we can again. So it really has improved. And just to know that he's better, that, you know, that he's, he's as well as he can be is just, I mean, it's a gift. It's a blessing. It really is.